Hey guys, how's it going? Today I just bring you a quick update for the next Assassin's Creed game. Uh, so this news comes via subreddit and it's not necessarily confirmed or anything, but I think it might be quite interesting to talk about. So apparently someone that works within Ubisoft has turned around to a French news article and uh, said this. For the next Assassin's Creed, the designers have created a system in which what I not only has meaning just now, but also long term. My actions will change the world. So what this sounds like is Assassin's Creed is now going to become a multiple choice game uh, where you're allowed to create different choices and that will affect the way you play throughout the rest of the game, creating different atmospheres, allying yourselves with people that you wouldn't necessarily think you would ally yourselves with. Maybe you'll play uh, through one gameplay as a certain, you'll play with a certain allied group and then on the next gameplay you'll kill someone and then you find yourselves allying up with the enemies of that other group. Uh, I don't quite sure, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, um, and I, but I think it could be quite interesting and I mean Assassin's Creed has been trying to change certain things for a long time now, like obviously there was a lot of the detective stuff put in in Assassin's Creed Unity and Assassin's Creed Syndicate uh, and now this seems to be a different way they're going. Um, obviously they're two separate things, the detective stuff and this. But, you know, I'm just trying to point out that they do keep trying to change some stuff around. They are trying to make it seem a lot different from the other games. Um, which I think is quite good and I like that idea. And I do also like the idea of a multiple choice Assassin's Creed game. Uh, this reminds me very much of Dishonored, which I think is an absolute brilliant game. But uh, I don't know if it's necessarily going to fit in the Assassin's Creed genre and I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing for them to do. But I do like the idea and I look forward to seeing how this pans out and if this is in fact a real idea. But I do genuinely really like this idea and I think that it will work quite well if it is done well obviously. Um, but this could be great because it's going to create different playthroughs, different play styles and you know people are going to get different versions of the game to some extent but after the ending to Assassin's Creed Liberations I think that this could be a possibility as that game had multiple different endings uh, obviously fake ones added in by Abstergo but that kind of hypes me up and kind of excites me thinking that that's what they might do I think that would be a very interesting idea and I think it would be great if they were to follow that idea up uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be from Abstergo, but it, it shows how it could work. And one more thing I would like to point out, this could actually lead to much more smarter AIs and NPCs around the maps and worlds of the game. Because you could have a whole fear system going on, the more targets you kill, uh, the more they're going to be scared and fear you. Uh, the less targets you kill, the, the more non-lethal non actions you take causes them to actually be more of your friend and socialize with you a lot more and uh, yeah I think that could be something added in it and I would prefer to see more smarter AIs and NPCs I don't know I think that's it for now guys tell me what you guys thought in the comments below don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later bye